see no intro see this video is gonna piss off a lot of people i don't care but it gotta be said bro this is what i'm talking about bro okay you lost you got blew out that's fine but what what is so funny bro why every time y'all losing or y'all lose why is it that you smiling and laughing after the game like it's cool like it's funny like you have no competitive nature like you don't care about your team being mediocre or terrible <laughs> it don't matter you know what i'm saying i'm doing what i got to do you know what i'm saying i'm rich already you know what i'm saying i got my little championships you know what i'm saying like this aggravates me and it's not just lebron bro it's nba players as a whole bro at the end of the game, they losing, dapping up, you know what I'm saying, smiling, kiki key, key, key Bro, what the fuck be so funny, bro? That's why I really do not like these niggas nowadays in the NBA, the personalities, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You can call me an old head. I might be the youngest old head you know. Yeah, but, yeah, I didn't grow up on this, this, this pussy-ass basketball we got going on now, bro. You got referees, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the referees used to always rig the game. You know what I'm saying? I know about Tim Donahue. I know about, you know what I'm saying, Sacramento game, game six, and everything. I know about, you know what I'm saying, uh, David Stern, his corrupt ass and everything. I know about all of that. But now, bro, it's like the referees are trying to be, be the stars. It's like they want to take control of the game, bro. It's like it's not even being, like, bro, it's just be blatant nowadays, bro. They giving a tech for blowing on it, for uh, looking at somebody, for uh, blowing your nose, they give you a tech. You tap somebody, it's a foul. But even with all that said, bro, I could withstand all that because I really love basketball, bro. And there's still some individual stars that I still rock with. And I just love basketball. I just like watching basketball. Even if it ain't what I grew up watching and stuff like that, I, you know what I'm saying? I need my basketball fix. But this is something that just irritates my life, bro. When these players come out here and they play and everything, especially if they play like trash. And at the end of the game, they smiling and whatever like that. Okay, you can give your your you can give your people, you can dap them up, whatever like that. But all this joking and just act like you not got a care in the world or just now. You see the difference in the faces of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. You see a difference. This is not the same you single out LeBron. This is about all NBA stars like him, bro. All these NBA stars at the end of the game laughing, kiki key, key, keying, like it's funny when your team is trash. That's why I love my boy Steph Curry, bro. We trash right now. That nigga ain't smiling. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing funny at all. <laughs> you feel me laughing, you think something funny, like, nothing is funny, bro. But y'all claim this nigga got competitive, competitive, just as competitive as Mike and Kobe. No, he's not. No, he's not. Is he as competitive as Steph? Is he? AD, he like, he ain't happy with this at all. And we can't blame AD. We can't blame AD this year. Because AD been out playing LeBron in tons of games this year. LeBron been doing his thing, trust me. But at the end of the day, these role players that they picked up was overrated. I told y'all before the season started what was going to happen. Go look at my videos before the season started. I told y'all. Now it's coming to fruition. 
but this aggravates me. It don't matter if it's LeBron, KD, uh, it don't matter who it is, Kyrie, it don't matter. All this smiling, joking, and then you getting blew the fuck out by 20, and it's, it's just so funny. It's so funny. Like, it's, bro, this will make me lose my damn mind. I saw a Pistons player doing this one game, uh, laughing after the game was over. I'm like, nigga, we the last team should be laughing, nigga. We literally are the worst team in NBA history. You would sit up there fucking laughing. Bro, I wanted to go up there and smack the fuck out of the dog. Like, I'm dead ass serious, bro. This shit aggravates the hell out of me, bro. I'm a competitive ass person. I hate to lose. I hate to lose, especially in basketball. I hate to lose. I'm not a sore loser, but I hate to lose. You know what I'm saying? I hate to lose. So, I apologize for that, you know. But I hate to lose. So, you know what I'm saying? On the basketball court, you beat me one on one, I'm gonna want another I'm gonna want another rematch. You feel me? You beat me again, I want another rematch, bro. You beat me that time, all right, give me some give me some time, bro. I'm about to practice. You feel me? That's what I used to do growing up playing ball or in high school when I was playing ball. You know what I'm saying? Even grown now, since I ain't played, you know what I'm saying, on a on an organized team in some years. But I you know what I'm saying, because I've been doing music. But I still can get on that court and do my thing, you know. I still practice and, and go hoop, you know. So I understand the competitive nature, you know what I'm saying. I may not understand it to the level of the NBA, you know what I'm saying. But come on, man. This is, come on, bro. They got you in 4K. And for y'all saying, oh, you hating. Why AD ain't smiling? Why AD ain't, ain't laughing and stuff like that? Hmm? Huh? Ain't shit funny about that. I guarantee you Darvin Ham ain't laughing. It ain't funny to Darvin Ham. And then you at home? It's funny. But I heard y'all was getting booed. But y'all was getting booed. Like, come on, bro. At some point in time, niggas got to tell the truth. Niggas got to tell the truth. The competitiveness ain't even close to MJ's or Kobe. Y'all funny, bro. Shout out to AD. He ain't... Listen. He ain't having that, bro. AD low-key don't... AD key low, he low-key don't like to lose. And this year, bro, there's been some games where AD didn't just balled out and his teammates did not... And none of them didn't show up. AD is dominating on offense and defense. I mean, how much more could he do? I'm out, man.